Hi, and welcome to another helpful tutorial video from Ship Our Wedding, where we help you easily and affordably plan gorgeous DIY events. Today we'll show you how simple it is to set up infinity entrance draping. When it comes to events, a great way to change the look and the feel of your event is with something we call infinity entrance draping. It has a word right in it, entrance, so you can use this by your doorway, so when guests walk into it, it gives them kind of almost like an optical illusion. They're walking through the space, and it looks like it goes on for infinity, hence why we call it the infinity entrance. What's great about the infinity entrance, you can use it for more than just the entrance. We've done this for aisleways where there's a ceremony, you process through the ceremony, it looks gorgeous. Hallways too, to kind of fill up an empty space and give it a little bit more life. It has a little more character. Before we go DIY, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Not on our website yet? Click the link in the video description for more rental info. Also in, in the middle of a room, we've had it to where there's tables on both sides and an infinity entrance going right down the middle. And this acted like a grand entrance way for guests as they walked in through the space. The infinity entrance gives guests a certain emotion when they walk in through the space. It's almost like an expectation of what's to come in the event. It raises that anticipation for what's going to happen later in the evening. We've done this for just not just weddings, but corporate events, you name it. This style of draping is totally unique, and this is why we recommend it. So let's go ahead and set up infinity entrance draping. This is a base plate. There's a beveled middle hole the screw goes into. The screw is in the barrel and has a beveled edge. The screw will fit into the middle hole flat, and while holding with your finger, hand tighten the barrel into the screw. We'll only use the center hole during assembly. If it is hard to remove the ferrule, use a hammer and gently tap on both sides. Next, hold the back with your finger and then remove. End of your event, put the screw back into the ferrule so it doesn't end up missing. Lay six assembled base plates on the ground as two columns of three evenly spaced base plates. Next, slide your uprights over the center base plate ferrule. If it is a tight fit, only force on the ferrule 50% and not all the way down. Afterwards, assemble your crossbar. It comes in three pieces. The two pieces with hooks should be on the outside and slide into the third piece on the first hole, making it 10 feet long. Push these pins in if you would like to make your crossbar smaller. Collapse your crossbar as much as possible. This will make your crossbar approximately seven feet long. And then you will grab your crossbar and click it into the upright. Do this by attaching three crossbars to each upright that is directly opposite each other. Your setup should look like this so far. Next, throw four pieces of fabric over each individual crossbar. Do this for all three crossbars. Make sure there's even amounts of fabric on both sides. Then you will pleat all fabric. Do this for all three rows. Next, make sure your two inner pieces of fabric are centered and overlapped. Then, use a zip tie to keep them from moving. Do this for all overlapping fabric on the center of the crossbar. You will do this step three times since there are three crossbars. Next, raise up your uprights and increments going back and forth between uprights to the desired height. Do not raise past the sticker. Always leave a small gap between your upright and ceiling because you will have to raise the upright slightly by pushing up on the movable metal piece. After all your uprights are raised, pull back the left two and right two pieces of fabric by gently lifting the fabric to untwist and lower it to the side. Then, swag to the upright by using an accordion motion with your hand and finish by attaching the fabric to an upright with the zip tie. You will do this step six times. Here's a close-up of how to attach the swagged fabric to an upright. Finalize the fabric pleats and tuck the bottom. You will do this step six times. The infinity entrance can be adjusted to either seven foot or 10 foot wide. Finish with the uplighting and the color of your choice. Let's look at some photos of recent events that have used this rental in action. Browse Ship Our Wedding more DIY tutorial videos and get started by checking your date's availability. Together, let's help you plan the event you deserve. Hey guys, now that you know about Infinity Entrance Drapery, watch more videos above. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in our next video.